Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading, the you and them reading. We'll be looking at you and your person and what's going on in your connection. So this will be for those of you who already have somebody in mind. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your chart. So let's get right into your reading. I am going to use the Animal Spirit deck today so you guys can see it in action and we're going to look at your person's energies as well as yours your person will be on one side and you will be on the other aries but feel free to flip it if it resonates more spirit for aries for aries what are the energies between aries and the person they are thinking about spirit for aries let's start with your person aries The person that Aries is thinking about spirit, what are their thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time? What are their energies towards Aries at this time, spirit? Mm, okay, we got Lamb. So Lamb is all about kind of like a spiritual message. Something coming your way through a stranger, through spirit, something is, is some sort of spiritual message or spiritually guided message. I feel like your person wants to tell you something, Aries. What else can you tell me about the person that Aries is thinking about? What are their thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time? Ooh, whale, they have a lot to tell you. <laughs> it's all about kind of like, um, the whale's also kind of, sort of like a very sensitive, deep energy. Let me open the book. The Animal Spirit Deck will come with a fun guidebook like this. And I always refer back to it because there's so much for each card. This is what it looks like. So for the, the whale is the desire to delve deeper, profound peace, ancient wisdom. So whale energies are not afraid of emotional expression. Um, they have a depth that is rare. So I feel like your person has a lot of feelings for you. Um, they might be wanting to dig deeper. They might be wanting to communicate something special to you, something that they've possibly kept hidden. Uh, the lamb is the bearer of an important message. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Interesting. So this is... This is a message I feel like you are meant to receive with the lamb. Interesting. So let's see. What about you, Aries? Spirit, tell me about Aries. What are their energies towards this person? Oh, it came out quick. Ooh, deer. The deer for me is very similar to the Queen of Cups. Um, very similar energy. Loving, nurturing, motherly type of figure. I feel like you have a lot of feelings for this person as well. So I think the feelings are, are mutual here. Tell me more about Aries. Oh, we got the dolphin. I love this energy. All of these energies are just so cute. And it's interesting too, because you have two earth energies and two water energies. I feel like you're both on the same page with these energies. Now with the dolphin, the dolphin's very um, beautiful personality. Um, they affect our lives in ways that we don't expect. So once you meet a dolphin, your life is never the same. So I feel like for you, this person has changed either the way you view love or the way you approach relationships. Um, maybe you feel like this is the one or someone very special. So let's get into this to tarot and see what's going on here. Spirit, messages for Aries, please, in regards to love with the person they are thinking about at this time. For Aries, what do we need to know in regards to love? All right, Aries, let's start with your person. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What can you tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with, Spirit? 
What are their energies at this time? What is going on with this person that Aries is thinking about? Hermit. So they could be quiet right now. Pensive, seeking answers, trying to figure things out. Maybe they're withdrawn or there's little communication between you. Virgo energy there. What else for Aries? What else can you tell me? Seven of Wands. Interesting. Seven of Wands is somebody that's like ready to fight, stand their ground, defend themselves. Um, they stand up for what they believe in. Um, so we'll see when I clarify what that Seven of Wands can mean. Either they're kind of keeping you at bay or they're trying to fight for something that has to do with you here. Maybe there's a lot of opposition for your relationship or your connection um, and someone's willing to fight for you. What else can you tell me about Aries and the pers person that Aries is? Okay, page of wands reverse. So this person, I don't think they've actually done anything toward um, when it comes to you. Just thinking. There hasn't actually been any action. Um, possibly this is someone who's unsure of how to get things started or they don't finish what they start. Um, maybe um, they're being kind of like impulsive and it makes them back up. So it's almost like someone tries to do something and it doesn't really go their way. So they back up like five steps instead of one. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. Tell me more for Aries and their person. Three of Swords Reverse. Interesting. Your person could either be wanting to heal a connection here, heal pain, or there's a third party involved. We'll see when I clarify. What else for Aries? Seven of Pentacles. So a little bit of doubt. Possibly wondering if something's going to happen here, if they'll be able to make something happen here. King of Swords at the bottom. They have something to say. So tell me about Aries. What's Aries thinking or feeling? What are their energies towards this person? What are the energies that Aries is feeling towards this person? King of Cups. A lot of you have a lot of love for this person. King of Cups, Queen of Cups on your side. Tell me more. For Aries. Empress. You want to grow with this person. Um, you could be exhibiting Empress energy so you know your worth. You are able to manifest right now. You have all of the tools at your disposal to make something happen. Um, you could be, again, having a lot of love for this person. And I feel like you want to move fast. Either you want to communicate with this person or you want things to move quickly. Maybe things aren't moving fast enough for you, Aries. Um, you tend to be a little bit of a risk taker, typically. Tell me more for Aries. What's Aries? It's way too many. Tell me more for Aries. What energies is Aries exhibiting at this time? One card, please. Strength reversed. So um, you might be wanting to control things a little bit here. Maybe you lack courage, although that's rare for you. Um, it could be that you are not in control of your emotions at this time. Or you may be wanting to control the outcome a little too much. We'll see when I clarify. Anything else for Aries? Emperor reversed. So I have a pair here with Actually, never mind. I was just told no. <laughs> so with Emperor Reverse and, and Strength Reverse, something's not happening. You don't have the resources. You don't have the confidence. You don't have the power over something. And I feel like it's something that you're struggling with. This is you here, Aries. We have 
Leo with the Strength card. We have Water and Fire as well. So I feel like for you, when it comes to your person, it's out of your hands. There's something here that's out of your control. You have faith, you have hope, but it's not something you can specifically do on your own. So let me clarify these energies, Spirit. I'm just going to use the same deck. Help me clarify these energies for Aries. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What is the Seven of Wands doing here? What is it? Knight of Pentacles. Nice. So your person's thinking of a, a solid offer here. They're not messing around here with the Knight of Pentacles. What else can you tell me about the Seven of Wands? It's a very slow offer. It takes a long time for the Knight to arrive. Five of Wands reverse. Your person's defending either themselves against drama or defending your relationship against opposition. Overcoming this conflict is the goal for your person. Um, I feel like that conflict is keeping them, yeah, five of pentacles, struggling, feeling lonely, feeling left out in the cold. Um, maybe you, for some of you, you told this person you don't want to be involved in drama and so you kind of did withdrew from them um or they withdrew from you because they didn't want to involve you in any of this here regardless there's something that's being overcome with the five of wands reverse or it's just very very um tough right now can i get one more for the seven of wands please you get one more card yeah they're working on this they're making an effort So what's this page of wands reverse? What's this page of wands reversed about? What's this page of wands reversed here? It's something that's not starting, not taking off here. Why? King of swords, maybe there's um, communication that has to be had first. And you've had several readings recently where it's all about communication kind of being the turning point. Tell me about the page of wands reverse five of cups so there's disappointment at what this person has not been able to do there's been um possibly a lot of waiting that this person either has had to do or he's making he or she's making you wait and it's causing a lot of disappointment there's possibly regret here over what hasn't taken place can i get one more for the page Thank you. Yeah, four of wands reversed. So something here has not been stable or or there's a lack of harmony. There's something that's not really peaceful right now. It's causing trouble. The fact that something isn't happening is causing trouble for your person. So tell me about this three of swords reverse. Oh my gosh. Tell me, tell me about this Three of Swords reverse. What's this Three of Swords reverse? My cards are sticking to each other and it's making it really difficult to shuffle, but I love the, this deck, so. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse, please. This here. The star again, Aquarius energy. Healing, okay, tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. What else? Queen of Pentacles. We have a King of Cups, an Empress, an Emperor, and a Queen of Pentacles, and a King of Swords. Wow, a lot of people here. Tell me more about this Three of Swords, Reverse. I want to see if this Queen is the third party. 
Tell me more about this Three of Swords reverse. Eight of Cups. I think it is. Your person might be leaving this Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles. I think either you have hope that this person will leave their partner or your person has hope or faith or is healing a relationship by leaving another person. This has been something that I feel has been a long time like developing with the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Like maybe your person was having to save money before they could leave. Yeah, so someone's wondering if they're ever going to have their new beginning here. If it's too risky, if their investment will pay off. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Can I get one card, please? Seven of Pentacles, please. Keep dropping like four or five cards. Two of Swords Reverse. So a decision has been made. And it has to do with a partnership here with the lovers. Someone has made a decision and it's a very risky one. They're wondering if it's going to pay off for them, if it's ever going to work out for them. They could be returning to you or delayed in their departure. Yeah. So there might be delays and that's like very heartbreaking for someone. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. What are you wanting to like happen quick here? My gosh. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Where's the Knight of Swords here for Aries? Where's the Knight of Swords here? Tower reverse. You want to avoid a tower. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. You want to avoid a tower. You want to have victory or success. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Wands, reverse. This is someone you can't rely on. You want the truth. All you're interested in the truth. I feel like you've been waiting for the truth of this of someone's true intentions, maybe waiting to see if someone is actually going to commit, if they're actually going to say, I mean, do what they say they're going to do. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. And it's like you're doing that because you want to avoid the tower. Yeah, see, you want, you want the truth. You want communication here. And you want to stop worrying about it. Stop stressing. You want to get over this like mental, mental situation you have going on down here where it's like anxiety, fears. Tell me about strength reverse for Aries. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, King of Swords on the table here. Communication is very important here. I have Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Swords, all upright. Tell me about Strength Reverse. Yeah, you want the truth because I feel like you're having doubts about someone's intentions. You don't trust them. You could have caught them doing something. Maybe you suspect um, cheating or lying. And it has to do with an offer of commitment here. It's like you don't really trust that this offer will come. You want you want someone to give it to you straight here. And I feel like your emotions are all over the place and you're trying to regain balance. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. You want something to grow. You want something to manifest, but you can't do it on your own. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse, please. Yeah, 
I think this is what you're trying to manifest, an opportunity. Even though someone's out in the cold or even though there's a lot of struggle, there's a lot of difficulty in this connection. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. What else can you tell me? About the Emperor? Yeah, look at this. This is what you're trying to manifest and you don't have the power to do this right now. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. It's regarding the past, it's regarding a past life connection. Um, you want it all with this person. I feel like in your mind, there's a lot of potential here. But at the same time, I have a, I have the Five of Swords reversed at the bottom. It's almost like you still have hope even though this person has not either played fair or even though there's drama, even though there's been delays, um, even though there's been possibly communication that has caused disappointment and heartache, um, even though there's a possible third party for some of you, um, you still have hope that you can make something manifest here, something, have a new beginning here. Yeah, you want, you want success. And there's a two of pentacles. Someone's possibly weighing the pros and cons of should, should we still, should I hang on or should I let go? What should I do? I'm not sure anymore. I want the truth. I want someone to speak up and tell me the truth. I want action, not just words. And I feel like your person's working on that. They're working on bringing you this offer. It's just going to be very, very slow. This Knight of Pentacles, he's extremely slow. And he, he's going to be even, it's going to be even more slow if this person's constantly fighting with people or there's opposition here. Thank you so much for watching, Aries, for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I read all of your comments. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.